Hello guys and gals, this is Fierce Gamer Zone, and today I'll be bringing you my first video review and commentary on the Division Beta. I'll be sharing my experience and my overall thoughts on it. So without further ado, let's begin, and of course, enjoy the video. Your mission is to restore order by finding the source of a virus that hit the country. By giving order from the President of the United States, the player must do whatever it takes to prevent the fall of society and reveal back the city in chaos. With a plethora of weapons at your disposal, you are the only hope the country has. During my time playing the beta, my first impressions were, wow, this game is great, it feels nothing like Destiny. And this is coming from a year one player to today, so I have my share of hours in Destiny. So this time Ubisoft looks like they won the extra mile, and yes, I can tell the difference right from the beginning. The menus in this game are amazing and they're really easy to navigate. The inventory contains all the weapons you have, your primary weapons, your secondary weapons, as you guys can see here on the video. It also shows your weapons DPS, health and skill power. Weapons are gonna come in different levels. It's kinda like Destiny. They're probably gonna be common, rare, legendary and exotic. So watch out everybody, if I see somebody with a yellow one, I will definitely steal it. Another great feature on the game includes weapon mods. This will allow you to attach them into your favorite weapon, giving you better DPS. One last thing worth mentioning on the menus are the abilities. While playing the beta, I saw some of them in use. They went from a shield, an enemy detector, minigun, and the most useful one was a regenerating gun. So hopefully once the full game comes out, we'll see what kind of crazy and helpful abilities we will get. Now, moving to the fun stuff. The gameplay is simple and easy to understand. You can either play it in stealth mode or you can just go guns blazing. Doesn't really matter. Given that freedom, I was allowed to have tons of fun. Do whatever the heck I wanted. <laughs> when you play by yourself, the game might be a little boring, but when you get a team together, that's when the real fun begins. Oh yeah. From teabagging your opponent to waiting for extraction, you know, just waiting for somebody to become rogue and steal your loot, makes this game full of unpredictable situations. Can't wait for the full release, guys. And now, moving from that fun stuff, I did encounter some bugs, especially this one right here, which is in the Xbox version of it. Oh well, it's a beta. Let us hope the final game doesn't have any kind of stuff like this. Right, Ubisoft? Also, the PlayStation 4 version of the beta had some issues with the covering system, as you guys can see right now. Yet again, it's a beta. Lastly, something worth mentioning, it's the weather change. Not only will the game look fresh every time you play it, but also will determine how you fight your battle. Well, to summarize, I had a really great experience and I am really looking forward to its release date on March the 8th. I do recommend the game, and I guarantee that you will have an enjoyable time with your online buddies. Alright guys, this is Fierce Gamer Zone, and thanks for watching. See ya!